June 22nd, 2017. It's about 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This is day three of Tropical Storm Sandy. And we're looking at GOES 16 Visible Water Vapor Loop. Just take, this is the center of the country. And go up a little bit here. Let's start up north. Just take a look around and we'll get into detail here soon. I like to rock the images back and forth so that you can see the point of origin of where these water vapor is from. Uh, where the planes start, I mean, it's all coordinated. It should be very easy to see. Okay. Take a look at this mess down here which is supposed to be the tropical storm and <laughs> zoom out a little bit and you can see that well-defined angle there it runs right up between Mississippi and Alabama up into Tennessee and Kentucky there there's a right angle right there you can see it in the water vapor there's a right angle and then you can see the coordinated water you know, it looks like a, a pot boiling over, like water. When and well, when a pot boils over, how do you get it to stop? There's, you know, all these questions you gotta ask yourself. Like now, once again, we can go over here in Colorado and look. Now I'm sure there's gonna be severe weather pop up right there and uh. Well, this is again, because you, you can see I'm pumping it up again. Now, I may be too, too early. Right now, I'm just going to show the visible loops. And then I'll turn the radars, and we'll see what the radars are doing. But just for right now, we'll just take a look at the visible loop here. It's all coming from one spot. Convection, they say. It's convection, alright. Seeing some stuff up here in Iowa. Yeah, they're still pumping up air. Now that we got a good area there, the center of the country. We'll start poking around and areas, visible-wise, okay? What do we got here? You know, this is Louisiana-Texas border. And it's in great detail there. Nice, nice detail. You can see the bubbling up, the forcing up. Going over to the next frame. This is Alabama Mississippi line. And yeah. There you go. And you can see all the, the planes and everything going. It, once you know what you're looking at, you, you can see what's going on. It's, it shouldn't be that difficult to understand. I mean, just look at that mess. It's all coordinated. Bet your ass it's coordinated. Look over there. Now, 
and I'm not trying to get behind the science and all the physics of all this. Or, I'm just trying to point out the manipulation, the coordination. Uh, be obvious. Anybody should be able to see this and understand <laughs> the, the coordination between the planes, the water vapor releases, how it looks like boiling the water. And then once you turn on the ra radars and see how the radars work in conjunction with one another and how, yeah, it's all coordinated. There's lots going on here. Move on over. Now here's my area. And well, we'll start up north first. You can see all the, the planes going there. All the EMFs. Move down a little bit. Sent PA there. Bunch of coordinated water vapor releases. And chem spraying. And oh man, you should have seen my sky today. Okay, well, there you go. Into West, West Virginia, Virginia, and Maryland. Over in the Delaware. It's even further south into the Carolinas and all. But you can just see the planes going. My sky is completely wazed out right now. We'll dive into that, that as a, my video here, but yeah, I'm bottlenecked in between West Virginia and Pennsylvania, right? Or yeah, right there in Maryland, and that bottleneck in Western Maryland. You can just see the planes going over me all day. One, two, this nice Geo collar here, or the true collar, the Colorado. Now, to me, there's lots going on here. We don't need to look at the north. Just Colorado and uh, Utah there. Now, you, you can see almost tan haze that's towards the right or the east that's in front of these looks like coordinated water vapor releases and yeah you can see it see it there now I don't know it looks like it may have originated but you can see some planes going there from this spot here now is the fire there because it's all coming from the same spot and I'm almost thinking that the fire there, right? And bet your ass that they coordinate wildfires with water vapor releases. Okay? Now, smoke from fire is full of uh, cloud condensation nuclei, which is what water vapor needs to grab on. To create a cloud, and you could find this question. You know, you can see all this haze here. Whether it's, it looks like it's stemming from that one spot in Utah there, and it coincides with all these clouds suddenly popping up, which is just water vapor releases. I'm willing to bet there's. You know, because they got to put power plants and such things near rivers and stuff because they need water. And then they pump up that heat at water vapor. And then when you got either planes going overhead first or a fire, they can release this water vapor and then it has something to stick to to create a cloud. And it looks pretty well lined up there. Okay, so now I've covered all the visible images. That's a pretty good one there. I mean, that's pretty 
to, to me when you know what you're looking at. Now I'm sure there's some planes coceding co with. I'm, I'm, I'd like to know what's spewing there. If anybody knows in Utah, where that is Southwest Utah. Looks like a fire to me, but I don't know. I'm not there. So now we'll. Uh, where should we take a look first? And look Well, we'll just start with the central plains or whatever. And we'll start with the central plains. Forgive the lag time and looting. Oh, yeah, look. Now let's see what the radars are doing. You can see the point of origin. Hit the radar. And. It, it's not popping up exactly in between them two radars, but I can see it popping up here soon. So, Western Kansas, yeah. Again, as always, three days in a row. Coming off the mountains in the Rockies. From part, it started from a forest fire that's down there in Utah, southwest Utah. And you can see the. the they're just working together working together now let's take a look at the the south central case you know that's where tropical shitstorm Sandy is and take a look at that and then we'll hit the radar and you can see just how they do they they work in conjunction and they're spinning that storm up. And that radar there, down there in South South Texas, next to the Gulf on the Mexican Texas border. And look how it's going off the chain there. See when I see radars do that to me it, it's, it's helping create a vortex. Not a vortex like at a single point, but in a larger scale, it helps rotate all the water vapor. We'll take a look at region, which the Mid Atlantic got heavy planes today. I mean, you can just see it there. Especially through West Virginia. Heavy planes. Look at that. Look at Now, once you put up these radars again, you can see them playing. I call it bumper pool. Oh, it's missing that one. Yeah, there it is in West Virginia. Look at that one bloom up. Put up that wall air. Then it's keeping that precipitation south of it. Or trying to hold it there. Because there's. They got a. Uh, moisture field in the north. And a moisture field in the south. And. They try to keep them separated. But it looks like they're. They're letting it down. And it's going to have to connect here soon. I mean this is the third day. They've been. <laughs> trying to explain myself here but just get that mess now we'll take a look at the midwest I've seen some storms popping up there in Iowa up even further north than Iowa up in the uh, you can just see a black blast coming off down there just shooting out. Hit the radar. Here. We'll rock it. Yeah, you can see these radar sent up through Oklahoma and Kansas playing bumper pool trying to get that moisture in the south down away from the moisture in the north. Where else can we look? 
the southeast. We'll take a look down there. Sorry for your region, but I'm just looking for the where the most activity is. And yeah, the strip it's coming up down from Central America. Just a straight line of water vapor and straight up the middle of the Gulf. Not seeing much radar activity. A little bit over there in Louisiana, in the southwest corner. But you can just see all the, the all the coordination. That's all I want, I want to say, really. Now, now that we're towards the end, well, we'll watch all the radars and together in the whole country. See what they're all doing. See how it spins right where that beam's coming from. And watch the other beams come off air. One. There's another two, three. And look, they get sucked right towards the middle of that, that water or the precipitation. Get sucked right towards it. There's all kinds of stuff going on, but we'll end on this note. Now that you see what's going on, we'll go to my state here because there was lots of chem spraying today or spraying or what, whatever the hell's coming out of the plains. Who cares? It's altering the weather. It's as simple as that. Sorry about the loading. Don't really even need to see the see all the lines. Remember, I'm right in the middle of the screen there. Right now, we'll take a look at my sky for more. Morning. Any recent days, except for this one was rather recent, the one shall. But you can see, start from that was yeah yesterday. I got a double rainbow. But anyways, uh, this was the morning about six a.m. That was by the time about two hours later at work. Just nastiness. Shit pumped up from cooling tires and planes spraying on top of it. Look, I mean, look at that. Anyways, that's that's my report for Thursday, day three of. Tropical shitstorm Sandy.